Hi there Taurus, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button as well. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay Taurus? So let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Taurus please? The past energy for Taurus. The past energy for Taurus. Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Okay, so the past energy for Taurus, please. The past energy for Taurus. The Fool. Justice. Well, look at that, it's like the Empress and the Chariot in Reverse. And the Hair Font. For the present energy, the sun. That card wanted to come out. The hermit in reverse. The future energy for Taurus. The tower. The eight of wands in reverse. Holy smokes. Okay, so it's like the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the overall energy. The Two of Wands. So it seems like there is someone stuck at a crossroads having to make a choice. So they're standing in the dark and all they have to do is walk into the light here. Interesting. So with the past, I see the potential for a brand new beginning here. A desire to balance things out with justice. Someone seeing you as being loving, nurturing, and beautiful as the Empress. And with the Chariot in reverse, there could have been confusion, though. So there could have been confusion on your side regarding a choice. Okay? So when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. But it seems like you are dealing with a very spiritual connection with the hair phone. That's your card. And the sun... I feel like you could be going through positive changes. But with the Hermit in reverse, there's this is someone that's having to gain some sort of awareness or enlightenment on a situation. Now with the Tower, I feel like someone's going to be hit with a Tower moment or realization. This could even be talking about major changes. However, I feel like there may not be communication between you and a specific person and the both of you are not together in the 3D with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, even though there are romantic feelings with the Knight of Cups. Okay? So let me clarify. Let me clarify the two of wands for the overall energy for Taurus, please. Taurus. 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 The two of wands for Taurus. Okay. The Two of Wands for Taurus. There we go. Justice in reverse with the moon. So it's quite interesting. Um, let me get one more card before I say anything. The hangman. So in regards to making this choice, someone's trying to look at things from various perspectives or trying to gain a sense of enlightenment on the situation, even though things are being hidden in the dark with the moon card. So there may be a lack of clarity, 
but someone's trying to gain some sort of enlightenment because it's difficult achieving balance within this connection where there's an equal give and take in energy. Okay, so let me clarify the fool for the past. The eight of wands, interesting. So there may have been communication in the past with the chariot. The two of swords. So there was someone that wanted to rush in with the chariot. So this is really talking about like a fast moving energy. But with the two of swords, someone could have been blocking it. with it. So there could have been confusion. Someone could have been protective over their heart space. And there could have been issues with trust. It just seems like there is um, a message here about there being a lack of clarity with the Two of Swords and the Moon. But someone trying to gain um, enlightenment on this situation. So let me clarify the just justice. There you go, the King of Pentacles. Oops. The Empress twice. Yes. So it's like the King of Pentacles and the Empress, a desire to balance things out. There you go, temperance. A lot of reference to balance, stability. Even healing. So this could even be you trying to remain patient, trying to remain balanced, focused on your stability here. So let me clarify the Empress with the Chariot in Reverse. It's like the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. So it seems like there is a brand new opportunity in love, which is interesting. But you may be confused with the Chariot in Reverse. And there you go. The Emperor in Reverse. So you could be confused about this Emperor. Right now they're showing up in the Reverse here. So this person could have been thrown off. Even though there was a potential for a brand new beginning. So let me clarify the hair font. The four of swords. The four of pentacles. Four could be a significant number. The ace of cups and the ace of pentacles talks about like new beginnings. But look at that judgment in reverse. So there's someone that's reflecting on this connection. There's heavy contemplation. But stagnancy. Someone's keeping their feelings to themselves, though, with the Four of Pentacles. So as this person is contemplating things, there is confusion with judgment in reverse, or there could even be indecisiveness. So let me clarify the sun. So you could be confused about this person. And there you go. The Four of Cups. So there is disappointment. To clarify the sun. Oh boy, I feel like someone has clarity though. But it's like the six of wands in reverse. Let me get another card before I say anything. Yeah, there we go, the knight of wands. I feel like things could take a turn for the positive, but right now someone's feeling quite disappointed with the Four of Cups. It's like, um, someone's choosing to ignore this cup that's being offered to them. That's why there's no forward momentum, but there's passion, which is interesting. Like. Things could take a turn for the positive here with the Sun card. Let me clarify the Hermit in reverse. So this is this could very well be someone having to gain some sort of awareness 
on the situation with the five of pentacles in reverse there we go the ten of wands even if it may be difficult And there you go, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this is someone that's having to go within and do some deep introspective thinking, self-reflection here, even if it may be difficult. So that could also be talking about like healing. Because right now the Nine of Pentacles is showing up in reverse with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this could even be someone having to overcome any sort of fears. Because I want to see the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. This is my self-care card, but it's showing up in reverse. So this is telling me that someone has to go through the healing process. Or um, at least reflect. So let me clarify the tower. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Cups with the Two of Wands. Let me get clarify the Eight of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Cups at the back of the deck. I feel like someone's going to be hit with a tower moment of realization. Yeah, there you go. The Queen of Pentacles with the star in reverse. So, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. So someone's going to be hit with a Tower Moment of Realization. Specifically, if someone is having difficulty with expressing how they feel. Because right now I don't see communication with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So you're showing up as a Queen of Pentacles. You're very loving, very nurturing, very dependable. I see a match. But it's like the Queen of Wands and or is possibly you pulling your energy back. I don't really see communication here. But there is some reference regarding healing from the past. With the Star card in reverse and the Six of Cups. And I see someone not really doing that. That's why there's confusion. So someone is going to be hit with some sort of tower moment. So it's regarding changes. So let me clarify the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Uh -oh. I'll be right back. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Whew. The King of Wands. Look at that. It's like the Queen of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse. The Three of Wands. So there is someone waiting. There you go, the Ten of Pentacles. Well, there you go. So this could situation could go in either direction, since I do see the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands. So there is a potential for stability here. There is someone that has a lot of passion towards you. There's love, okay? There are romantic feelings. But this is really... Um, um, someone having to gain some sort of awareness to possibly heal from the past... Because there has to be expression. Right now there's confusion because there's a lack of expression. So this tower moment, there could be major changes within this dynamic, okay? So let me get further insight from the intimate tarot. For Taurus, please. Taurus. The, uh, the wheel. Okay, so the Three of Swords. So things could take a turn for the positive here, but there's pain with the Three of Swords. Okay, the Magician. Like there is a desire to manifest this... Um, connection into the 3d but there could be a sense of heaviness stress even though there are romantic feelings here let me get one more card so 
So for some of you, there might be another energy involved. And that's why there, there we go, the lovers, just as I said it. So you are dealing with a very special connection. The moon. So someone's keeping their feelings hidden under the moon. Or things are being hit, like, um, not really out in the open. So someone could be trying to gain some sort of enlightenment with the hangman. So let me get um, a message from the Oracle deck for Taurus. Okay. For Taurus, please. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. The moon showed up twice. So there's more going on here. But spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So you could be dealing with a very special connection. But it's like receive love. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So someone has to be accepting um, of this love in order for things to move forward here. And right now I see the moon card showing up in reverse. So let me get further insight from the Romance Angel. Deck for Taurus. Taurus. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this could very well be someone um, that actually... Let me, let me just get another cup. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So wedding <laughs> so let's see this is interesting the heart, okay this is so <laughs> there's like a mix of messages here so if things are hidden in the, in the dark um someone could be perceiving the situation as being unrequited love like one-sided okay um Healing family issues. There could be issues from the past, just like I said, that someone has to heal. So forgiveness, wedding, this situation involves marriage. So if there is a third party, someone could be in a commitment with someone else. Okay. And heart to heart conversation. Honesty, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So there has to be expression as well. Okay, Taurus. So that's my reading for you and I'll see you next time. Take care now.